Are you a true crime fan, can't get enough of unsolved mysteries, or wish you could spend your vacation in the view of a courtroom in session? Well, you're not the only one. From the OJ trial, the Menendez brothers, which is trending right now, to Alex Mur Alec Murdaugh, and more, the televised trials and crime stories have been all the rave in recent years. Authors Neil Gordon and Mike Pachetnik are no strangers to the CSRA or covering court trials. They document court trials and have put this time together representing a lot of what trial watchers do. And with the new book, Trial Watchers, you can see what they're talking about here. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks Great for to see us. you, Cliff and Taylor. Uh, Neil, what was the origin of this book? I mean, there's more than just the inner workings of a particular trial in this, correct? That's right. Uh, my wife actually went to one trial, the Alex Murdoch trial. She was obsessed by it, took a buddy trip to South Carolina, and met hundreds of other uh, true crime fans, and then we began to contact them and follow people on social media, and they shared with us their stories, and so this is their stories of uh, how passionate they are. Now, Pete, why write something like this? Yeah, so initially, uh, Neil reached out to me. First of all, we worked together here in the CSRA yep. 25 years ago. He was my news director at uh, <laughs> the old WAGT on Broad Street, mm -hmm. so we've kept in contact. And he wanted at first to do a documentary about the Murdoch case, and at that point, Netflix had already dropped one. There was one on HBO, and I said, now, Neil, the story here is about these people who are traveling to these trials. They all have interesting backstories. And so that was kind of the origin of the book itself. And it's an anthology of short stories about their why. There's a, a pair of sisters from the CSRA who talked to us about some past trauma in their life. They had a, a murder in the family and they go to these trials to seek justice for their father that they weren't able to get at a trial. So things like that. Now, your studies on this, from spending time at the Murdoch trial, you've run into a lot of the same trial watchers too. I mean, is this is almost like a fandom, right, so to speak? It is. We got back several months ago from Nashville, Tennessee. We went to CrimeCon. Of course, you... See? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? right there. You've heard of Comic-Con. <laughs> exactly. and all. It's, it's just 6,000 true crime fans, Cliff, were there. And they had speakers from John JonBenet Ramsey's dad, who's still trying to get the case solved, uh, to Mark Garagos, who's uh, involved in the Menendez uh, situation, and many others. And it's incredible. And most of them were women, by the way. Yeah, 80 percent. 80 percent. So it is incredible. And, it, and you're right. It's not just trials. I mean, it's podcasts. It's reading books. It's, it's Dateline, 48 hours on right. your station. And, you know, so it's a, it's a, a cottage industry. And what can readers look forward to when opening this book? Yeah, so it's an anthology of short stories that are told through the lens of some of these trial watchers, people who are traveling. We, we interviewed a woman from Kansas who got on a plane and flew to the low country of South Carolina because she was looking for something to do. She had just retired. She had a little bit of spending money. Instead of going to a Taylor Swift concert or uh, to the Bahamas, she said, you know what, I'm going to spend that money and go to a trial. And she felt a little weird about it, right, Neil? Yeah. But she got there and she found her people. Right. And so uh, we, we tell that story. We tell the story of uh, ethical crime reporting. I'm a journalist for 25 years. You know, how do you tell that story with empathy so that you're treating crime victims with respect? Is that is that the big takeaway for this book? Is What exactly are you wanting to get across for the reader? Well, we all have a why, why we get passionate about certain things. And so some of the folks are people who wanted to go into law enforcement or law school, and they never did. So this is scratching the, the itch, if you will. Um, for other people, it's solving the mystery, putting the pieces together of the puzzle of solving the crime. And they do so on social media, and they do show with podcasts and, and, and so forth. And so we talked to a, an eminent media media psychologist, true crime psychologist, and she shared with us just um, so many of the things. I know you spoke to her directly. Yeah, I mean, people want to put the pieces of the puzzle together. They want to uh, learn about these cases in, in the situation involving women. You know, they have more empathy, so that, that's why they're into, these, uh, into this genre. So we're basically turning the mirror back on the true crime fans so they can learn more about themselves. 
Well, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this That's morning. Right. Such an interesting um, book, Trial, Watch Trial Watchers, um, written by the Neil Gordon and Mike and other Trial Watchers as well. I know, you, I'm I told like you trying I, to read. I told you I wasn't going to make you read this last <laughs> well, Oh, yeah, I don't want to push I've you. I've been dealing name. with that my entire life. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Get all the information now. It's available at trialwatchers.com. You can pick up the book there, too. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank, thank you both for having us. Interesting read. I'm